hey guys welcome back to the channel so this uh review i've been trying to do it for the last couple of days as um i did end up finishing this tub faster than i expected um also my brother and other family members have tried this out as well so they did help me out with finishing this as i don't just go to the gym by myself as i do like for everybody to be on the same vibe as we go to the gym and uh you know do one hour, two hours, three hours, depending on the day. Uh, for me, those long gym sessions, I always leave for the weekend. The, the pre-workout that I will be reviewing for you guys, and it's literally completely done, as you can see. Only little uh, packets um, to store it are left. And it is uh, Panda Pandemic, uh, their Dragon's Blood. And I did get the limited edition Dragon's Blood flavor. Now this one is a little sour because it's a blackberry lime flavor. Um, but the funny thing is that it turns purple in water. So um, I was like, what was going on with that? But regardless, um, label is sick, 3D and everything. You could feel the edging on the Dragon and everything. And it's pretty cool because you know they do uh, go off of the year of the Dragon. So that was an awesome um, add-on to the pre-workout, just you know, for marketing purposes. And this is an extreme pre-workout depending on the person. For me, it's a high steam daily driver. Now let's get into the taste test and I'll let you know how it did. So, so, so this one is a blueberry lime flavor and to keep it 100 with you guys, it is sour, uh, but nothing like that you can't down and nothing that will give you like acid reflex. For me, it didn't give me any acid reflex. It just kind of made me burp a little bit more, but I guess that's the line in it. For me, I didn't really um, feel like it was too bad that I can't, you know, down it. But all in all, I'll give the flavor uh, for originality. And also, since it's a little sour, I'll give it a seven out of 10. Let's get into some of the facts and then I'll let you know what my experience was. So we are getting one scoop at 10.1 grams and two scoops at 20.2 grams. So when you do weigh this out, a flat level scoop does weigh 11 grams. So uh, be careful, put it on the digital scale. Remember my scooper could be different from yours when you get it. it it's all on the manufacturer side. So um, just please weigh it out because you're gonna be taking a little bit more. And at the two, at the two scoop serving, it is a lot if used to going above 300 milligrams of caffeine. So I'll be reading all the ingredients at the scoop, two scoop level to not have you here longer than you need to be. So the ingredients in here are chloride as pink Himalayan salt, 60 milligrams, and sodium as pink Himalayan salt at 36 milligrams. Now, both of them um, have pink Himalayan salt, so that's great for hydration and great for no pumps. And then they added l citrulline malate two to one ratio at 10 thousand milligrams or 10 grams now two to one ratio they don't say the amount but it it should be around like eight milligrams or so but it's not that bad and it's great for the pumps if you want you could always stack something on top but just make sure you're comfortable with stacking the pump formator with this now the next ingredient we are getting some beta aline at 3200 milligrams great for the sense of urgency, the itchy, tingly feeling. Um, some people may be sensitive to it, some might not feel it. It all depends on how your body uh, reacts to the beta, but regardless, that's a great amount. And we are getting some betaine and hydrates at 25 milligrams, some L-tyrosine at 1,500 milligrams, some alpha-GPC yielding 50% at 400 milligrams, some caffeine adrenosis at 175 milligrams, some caffeine citrate at 150 milligrams. So right here, we're already going over 300 milligrams. We're at that 325 milligrams of caffeine. We are getting some L-theanine at 150 milligrams. Um, now, L-theanine is like caffeine, but it doesn't give you that strong effect like caffeine. So uh, GGH does say this, it's like the cousin to caffeine. Um, I'm just, you know, borrowing his line. I don't want him to say anything on this review. GGH, I'm just borrowing it because uh, that's like the best way to, to explain l Now we are getting the trademark name Zone 
XR extended release caffeine at 140 milligrams. So just to add on to the other ones, we're past, we're heading into 400 and uh, I believe it's 450 milligrams of caffeine. So um, don't think it's too much of caffeine because it probably won't be that 475, It'll probably be around 400 because they did not disclose how much uh, caffeine uh, was for the caffeine citrate as some yield a little different. But regardless, for me, I felt like it was around the 400 milligram range, which is very good. Anything above 300, will, well, uh, anything above 300, I'll count that as a high stim. And the next ingredient we are getting is the Dibromium Extract 10 to 1 ratio um, at 100 milligrams. That's another uh, nootropic hit. You, we did see this one in the Panda Black Market collaboration pre-workout. That's a great ingredient and another nootropic um, that is very good. Uh, it's not DMHA, it's not DMAA or nothing like that, but it is um, in that family. The next ingredient we are getting is sodium chloride as pink Himalayan salt, 100 milligrams. The next ingredient we are getting is trademark Adventra Z. Uh, bitter orange extract at 67 milligrams. We are getting some synactive at 50 milligrams, and this is from the root. So it's, you know, it's a great extract there. And we are getting some Centerfren uh, HCL at 50 milligrams, some estrogen at 50 milligrams, and some vincamine at 20 milligrams. So we are getting some good nootropics, some good ele mood elevation uh, ingredients in here, and they're pretty dose and they're dose pretty high. Aside from that, we are getting the caffeine going 400. Some people say it goes a little bit above, but I'd say 400 just because of the yield at these two scoop servings of this pre-workout. For me, I like it because it was pretty versatile, and it does bring 42 servings, meaning that if you cut it in half, you are getting 20. One uh, servings for two scoops, meaning that let's say today I'm going hard in the gym, an hour and a half to two hours. I'm taking two scoops. It's gonna last me my whole gym session and more. Now at the one scoop level, this can be a daily driver. You can even take this four to five times a week. Uh, when it comes to the two scoop serving size, I would recommend three, maybe four. Um, but nothing past that just to give your mind some rest as you're going to be putting in your body at least 400 milligrams at the two scoop level for four for three to four days. You know, you got to give your mind a little break to recover this. The betas hit first at the between the 10 and 15 minute mark. I felt it around my eyebrows um, a little bit on my lips when you when I was downing it as well. So you already know it's going to be strong. Felt it in my hands um, and it. And it did last into the 30 to 45 minute mark. Um, great experience when it came to how the caffeine kind of collaborated with the uh, nootropics and with the other ingredients to elevate the mood. Get into how it did in the gym. Now this one, when it does uh, kick in the 20 to 25 minute mark, I ended up feeling way better. Like my mood just went from like, a five to like a 10 really quick. And then the Alpha GPC, you can feel it like your eyes opening, that focus start coming in. And when you hit that 30 minute mark, all that energy is there. So you're just getting a strong, aggressive energy, but you do feel good with your mood being elevated to another level. And the mute, and if you got the headphones on, the music would just continue to feel better. And if I was you, put on your favorite playlist when you take the Panda Pandemic Dragon's Blood. This one had me going, had me feeling good, and I was doing more sets, more reps, um, more mach more machines than I than I wanted to, honestly. And the reason why I say I wanted to was the energy stays with you and. It's not a bad feeling at all. It like coincides with the mood elevation and the pumps on this weren't as bad. For me, I would add like maybe like a scoop of Panda Pump to add to this, um, the new flavor, um, the new formula, just because the new formula doesn't have any beta and it has Lion's Mate to add another nootropic hit to this. So it would 
boost your workout and your experience to another level. Now, when I got back home, I was able to shower, very um, alert, was able to work throughout the whole day. The energy lasted between um, 6 a.m. to 1, possibly heading into 2 p.m. Nothing crazy, nothing that, you know, I, I was like in a bubble or anything like that. I was able to focus, I could drive, I could do anything that uh, I needed to do for the day. It didn't affect how I acted towards people or anything like that. So great experience. This one, I felt like um, if you ever were on the nitro, like when you're going up and you reach that top and then it kind of like, you see the bottom, but it doesn't go over your head with the uh, with the stems that you're like, oh, like, you know, I gotta relax, I gotta take a break. No, you can get almost up to that high, high stem level and then it'll keep you there. And when it starts coming down, you don't feel bad. It doesn't like let you drop and you feel like you, you don't have any energy. It slowly comes down. So for me, I believe it's the three different sources of caffeine. And I like it because you do get that hard hit burst. And then you get that meaning that you get a burst of energy to start your workout and then finish your workout and you have the long lasting caffeine and the other caffeine to give it like a quick, to give it a good backbone to support you and to hold you down throughout the rest of the day as you start coming down from the pre-workout. Now this was great because I didn't feel like I needed to pick me up like a coffee afterwards. No, I felt good enough that I could continue the day, finish my job, do whatever I had to do after work, and then just relax and able to go to sleep, having to toss and turn or drink, drink a sleep supplement to go and knock out. So all in all, the experience on this 10 out of 10 flavor, eight out, seven out of 10, just because it's very acidic, thinking about it. And you know, I'll, if they come out with this again and have a different flavor, I'll get it again. But regardless, they, all around, it's a great experience. Um, I will put the link for the Panda and Nutri Cartel just in case Panda doesn't have it, you can pick it up at Nutri Cartel. And the discount code is the same on both websites and both companies. So, so with that, guys, I'll leave you and I'll catch you in the next video.